Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to create a React component. <clears throat> the other way to define React component is with the ES6 class syntax. The following example, kitten, extends react.component. So we say the class of kitten extends react.component. And then we create a constructor. And then the constructor renders uh, H, an H1 element that says hello. Uh, on Okay, when we call render on the kitten object, we're going to return hi. Um, this creates an ES6 class kitten, which extends the React component class. So the kitten class has access to many useful React features, such as local state and lifecycle hooks. Don't worry if you aren't familiar with these terms yet. They will be covered in greater detail in later challenges. Also notice the kitten class has a constructor defined within it and call, uh, it, within it and calls super. So here, it, the constructor class is calling super. <coughs> it uses super to call the constructor of its parent class. In this case, react.component. So that means it's uh, the super to call the constructor of the parent class. So we're there's, that means that they're calling a constructor of react.component. Uh, the constructor is a special uh, method used during the initialization of objects that are created with a class with the class keyword. In the in it is best practice to call a component's constructor with super and pass props to both. This makes sure the component is initialized properly. For now, know that it is standard for this code to be included. Soon you will uh, see other uses of the constructor as well as props. So here, my component is defined in the editor, in the code editor, using the class syntax. Finish writing the render method so it returns a div element that contains an h1 element with the text of a hello react. So yeah, here what we're doing, I'm just going to extend this out. We're extending, my component is an extension of react dot component and so what we're doing is we're creating inside of here we've got our constructor which is passing in all the um, elements of react component and then what we want to do is render the uh, div element um, so yeah within the render element the, the render function we need to first we need to say return to start off because otherwise nothing is going to happen here they might it, the code will get ran through but it won't be returned which is the key we want to return here and so within our return uh, JavaScript uh, s function what we're going to do is yeah we're going to return a, the result of whatever this code processes out and in here we want to write JSX so we're going to write a div element right because we want to write everything in order for us to render properly we need to um, we need to return a single div element and within this div element we're going to write an h1 uh, element and so within here what we want to do is write in hello react with an exclamation point now it's important to write it with a capital H in hello and a capital R in react and then we also want the exclamation point in there because I'm fairly certain that it needs to be right on. So I got it right, but if you were to have written in hello react like that, you would have been failing a test. So it's important to write it like that. Um, and then it's another thing that would be tricky is it may not, might not seem obvious to write a return statement and within the return statement, the uh, brackets, and think in JSX, you don't actually need the brackets. Um, okay, you do. So that did not work. Um, you do need these brackets and uh, yeah we want to put a semicolon here just because that's how you write JavaScript at the end of uh, statements like that you want to have the semicolon in there uh, it's this stuff might seem unimportant but I think that it makes a lot of sense to practice writing your code as perfectly as possible at the beginning uh, in order to avoid developing bad habits so hope you guys enjoyed this one and we'll see you in the next lesson